All right, guys. So welcome back to Scum. So being chased off that zombie there threw up a little bit of a surprise in the way of our first weapon gem. I believe that kind of jam was called a stovepipe. You guys remember me talking about that a couple of episodes back where the bullet's poking out of the top like that. We did manage to fix it for now until we find a weapon kit or something to be able to maintain the weapon with. But we do pick up today further north of our last location. I did decide to get an early start today in hopes of covering some ground while we had the daylight, but I didn't really find anything too interesting until I came across this spooky looking building. I have no idea what it is. Maybe a converted outpost or something like that. Anyway, I managed to take a look around, found a few rooms, got some water, got some food. But then I made my way upstairs and I found a room with weapon lockers and we managed to get ourselves a mag for the m9 and that's pretty much where we pick up today i was just messing around in my inventory and i thought to myself it sounded like there was a blizzard outside it's actually snowing which is really cool but on this pistol there's a red laser or at least like a red dot you guys see that on the tip of the bottle suppressor. I don't quite know if I've accidentally turned that on or something, but it, it's like it's intermittent. It's on and then it's off. I, I don't quite know what's going on with it. But with that being said, talking about the pistol, because we've just had a server restart, I was just checking these lockers again. And look what I found. We got ourselves a brand new <laughs> M9. Let me show you guys. Look, 87%. So let me take that off. Let me take that out. For some reason as well, it's not showing the actual ammunition. Let's just check it. Better to be safe than sorry, right? Yeah, we do. We've got bullets inside of the mag. All right, so before we head through that door, we basically came from this area. This is where we were in the previous episode. And I've made my way through this section of road and then all the way up to here. I've skimmed a lot of it because a lot of it looked real sketch with a lot of zombies around. So when I got to this road, I did a straight line from here. Didn't really find too much, but there's two major areas. This one here and the one to the north. And there's one over here as well. I don't know if we're going to skip these smaller ones, but I mean, dependent on how this is, then we may head straight across and kind of make our way out of the cold. I don't know if being here is a good idea because it sounds kind of sucky being in this spot right now. Look, almost look like it's a blizzard going on. Also, this is nighttime right now. I know it's still quite dark, but hopefully it should be a lot better than it was last time. I think it's actually becoming daytime too. All right, let's start heading out. I don't know if I made it clear on the intro, but this building... There wasn't too much to worry about in the way of zombies on the inside. On the outside, though, completely different story. There was about five or six. I had to take like one or two of them down, but I don't know if there's going to be any more. Just be careful here because these zombies are so fast. And they're on you like a flash as well. Right, where's the gate? There we go. Let's get over this. All right, we're on the outside. So, I'm going to keep heading west. And then we're going to basically come across a road that goes straight in front of us. We're going to keep heading past that, which should take us to that next town. Okay, so we found a cabin. I want to show you guys something as well. Basically, from the comments in the previous videos, you guys told me that I needed to look out for a specific type of mushroom. I've got no clue how to pronounce the name. The only way I can remember it is, I think it... No, it's not this one. It's an orange colored one. Is it this one? No, it's got like it. The, the, the top of it's like really wrinkly is the best way I can describe it. And there's no way. There's not a chance that I'm going to remember the name of it. It's definitely not that one. But the good news is I was able to cure my vitamin D deficiency. As you can see there, vitamin D, 219%. Problem is I'm losing vitamin E now. So we're going to work out something else, which is going to get us a little bit of vitamin E. But thanks to you guys, I was able to do that. All right, I was going to take a knee for a second anyway, because wandering through the woods like this it always makes me nervous knowing that there's bears around. So let's just grab this. Let's check the ammo. Actually, let's do it the proper way. There we go. Ready to go. This is going to attract a lot of noise if I do have to fire, but should hopefully have the stopping power to keep a bear at bay, which is what we need it for. All right, let's see what this cabin's got. We are heading the right way as well. I'm just going to keep heading west. I think it's going to be over that hill. I'll oh, oh, okay. I was just thinking before that we could use something like a scope or some binoculars or something. 
So I suppose I've got to work out now what I want to keep and what I want to get rid of. I'm just going to drop this toolbox. I don't quite know what it's used for. I just kept hold of it on the off chance that we might need it for something, but I'll feel way more comfortable having these on us just so we can do a little bit safer recon, you know? And keep our distance. Spot what's going on from a little bit further away. All right, let's keep it moving. See if we can hit that next town. I think it might be these ones. These are the mushrooms that I was just talking to you guys about. Let's pick one up. Let's see. Yeah, this is the one. So if we hold control, on the right-hand side, you can see where it says vitamins and minerals. If you follow the vitamins tab down to where it says D, 55%. In fact, let's, let's eat one of those. Just top off. We've got some buildings up here as well, which is where we're trying to get to. Okay, I don't know if it's the effect of the weather. But normally when you find these towns that are abandoned, it's already creepy enough. Now when you've got that wind sound in the background, it's like dialed up to 11. And then when they make that noise... Because it's not just me either, like, this would be terrifying enough if it was just a solo survival. But the fact that I know there's other people and they could be literally anywhere, they could run straight upon us, and we don't know each other are there. It just makes everything more tense. I'm going to try and get rid of this zombie real quick. There we go. Cargo drop deployed, landing in two minutes. Sector B3. Is that going to bring another one in? I think it is, isn't it? Let's just back up a little bit. Where is that? Oh my... Look how far down that goes! I mean, I did see these on the way in and I was thinking to myself, there's probably a mine around here somewhere, but <laughs> I genuinely didn't think it'd be like right underneath this. Look how deep that goes! I kind of have to see, don't I? I have to see what's down there. Alright, there's that big old tower. I was hearing some screaming a second ago, but... I don't think there's anything too much to worry about. There's a couple of them floating around, which... Shouldn't be too much of a handful, but... Famous last words, right? I'm not going to worry about them, and then I'm going to get... Pinned up in a corner, and they're going to beat the ever-living shit out of me and kill me, so... It's always the way. This is something that I've always wanted to do. Climb these chimneys, but I've never had the balls to do it. They're everywhere where I live. But there's just something in the back of my mind that tells me that the one chimney that I climb is probably going to break when I try and climb it. You know, I've always got that fear in the back of my mind. Also, being afraid of heights doesn't help. <laughs> like, that, that's a big part of it. This is definitely going to give us a vantage point, though, so we can see what's going on. Oh, shit. Nope. Don't fall off the end of that. Oh. <sighs> Could have been all over just then. Right, we've got a hunting stand there. That we will absolutely be checking out. Nothing much in the way of buildings over that side. We'll give this a look through and that one. I'd really like a vehicle and there's just nothing. Like, every area that I've been to, apart from the one that we found, there's nothing there. There we go, there it is again. Oh no! No! Oh, he just fell through the railings! <sighs> I'm so incredibly mad at that. That that's the way we go out. After the amount of close calls that we had, and that there was a few, even some that you guys didn't see. Where we got backed up into a corner. I'm I'm calling that what it is. That was bullshit. I'm not I'm not going out like that. There's no way. I want to try and keep these type of series permadeath, but I'm calling that what it is. And I'm not going to try and hide that from you guys either. I want you guys to see everything that goes on. So, right sector, where was we? D1 wasn't it? it? Was up here. All right. I guess we respawn back in. Okay. Well, we're back in sector D1. <sighs> Look at that. When we first started playing. This is how long we've survived. We've got long hair now. And a beard. 
Like, we had nothing. There was no facial hair. There was no hair on our head. I mean, I'm so salty about that. <laughs> Such a bullshit way of going out. There it is. There's the chimney up there. You see it? Right, we're going to head to it in, in hopes that our body's still there. I will genuinely be heartbroken if it's gone. Oh, no. I've just thought of something else. When I fell off the top of that, I landed on the roof. Or at least I think my character did. And I'm pretty sure I can't get up there. I don't think there's a vaulting system for climbing up like that. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. There's good news and bad news. The good news is we got most of our stuff back. The bad news is we lost the 22 hunting rifle and the axe that we found as well, which I'm a little bit more annoyed at because that would have been super useful if we wanted to build even just a temporary base. So I got annoyed and I made a tooth necklace out of my uh, my corpse. So we're just, <laughs> just going to keep it moving. There was a hunting stand over there, which is probably worth now taking a look at. God, I really wish there was a vehicle. I really, really do. I mean, we live and we learn, right, guys? Ooh, 30-06 cartridge. It was introduced in 1906 and later standardized. But made in use until the early 1980s, and it was used in the M1 rifle. Let's just, let's just hold on to that. If we come across an M1, oh my god. That would be a nice trade for the 22 that we lost. These things are making an awful lot of noise around here, too. I don't know if they're just getting agitated with me being in the area, but there's a lot of noise. A lot more than there was before. All right, moment of truth. What are we going to find? Oh, we've got a bow. And it's a compound bow, too. What's along the sides? Okay, we've got some more some more rounds there as well. What's that? More 9 mil. Just join those up. Oh, this thing is badass. And it's going to be super quiet if... If we can make arrows for it, which I don't know if we're going to be able to. Let's just put that into there because we've got the space now. How is that looking? Oh, it's just tucked behind the backpack. I love that. Okay, that's not a bad trade-up. We lost the 22, but we gained a compound bow. Well, here goes. I just told myself that. I wouldn't go on another set of ladders. <laughs> and now we're going down into potentially one of the most dangerous spots in this entire place. Hopefully, though, we get rewarded for it. That's why I'm coming down here. Maybe find something good. Who knows? And we're down. I actually cannot believe how long that took. I don't know how many times I had to rest, but it was a good five to ten times that we had to rest to get our stamina back that is such a long way down and i didn't want to risk it either because my stamina kept going into the red and i was panicking thinking he would let go of the ladder because he was exhausted so i mean we've made the journey down so we may as well see what's at the bottom of this and something tells me there's going to be a lot of them down here oh god yeah there's one there multiple ways round as well I gotta get these shots right like that just hope that doesn't attract a load of them in oh look at this with all the mesh and I'm holding it all in I'm telling you guys right now if there's any zombies inside of these carts or trolleys whatever you call them and it pops up I don't think my heart's gonna be able to take it Coal, combustible. I don't think I'm going to be holding on to any coal. There's one in here. Oh, I'm definitely going to get lost. Oh, it's that one as well. Whoa. Is that the ricochet from the bullet? Oh, shit. Gotta go, gotta go. There was a lot more in there than I thought there was. Oh. Seven rounds in it. Oh 
my god. We're doing well so far with the shots. If we can keep this up, we should be alright. This thing is hell bent on getting round to us. Look at it. I am going through a little bit of ammo down here, which... I mean, this is what it's for, keeping me safe, but... I would much prefer to just... Kind of slide by, you know, undetected. That's the ideal scenario, at least. There's really nothing that I want down here either. Again, just curiosity over anything else. I just wanted to know what was down here, so at least we know now. I think it's time we head out because we've not really got the ammunition to keep this up. Let's get out of here. After making it out of the mine, I just decided to head directly northeast and make it to the closest town. I made it there in pretty good time to loot up while there was still daylight, but apart from the fact I just took some time to clean up my inventory and get rid of some stuff that I wasn't using, I really only ended up swapping out the pickaxe for something called a predator bow. Just as I was going to set up camp underneath the bell tower, which I thought would be pretty cool, I noticed that there was a drop in the same zone that we were in, and I didn't want to pass up the chance to see what was inside of them, so we ended up going towards where the drop should be. Well, the drop's already touched down, but is anybody going to be watching it? Okay, been looking around. I don't see anyone. Let's open this thing up. Close that just to be safe. <laughs> Alright. What we got? Toolbox. Bunch of them. Some nails. Oh, here we go. Magazines, another pistol, ammunition. It was worth it. It was definitely worth it. Right, let me sort my inventory out and swap some stuff around. Let me just head into these trees and I'll show you guys exactly what I got out of that drop because we've gone from looking like 50-50-ish from being back in that town where we didn't really find much to being pretty good. Like really, really good in fact. So, this is how we're looking now. We got some extra food. I couldn't carry all of it. I was in there. You would definitely need a vehicle or something to take everything with you, but I got pretty much most of the stuff that I wanted to take. Some extra food, crackers, bottle of water. We got some chow mein. We got some MRE, which hopefully will last in the entirety of what we're doing here. We got some pills, some painkillers, some spam. <laughs> of course, we got some spam. We're looking good. The most impressive thing that we got out of there was this pistol. And I just want to show it you guys again. Let me just reload it. Look at the side of that. <laughs> it looks so good. It really, really does. I'm really happy that we got a flashlight now. Problem is, the only way that I know how to turn that flashlight on is just by doing that. And that's going to be a bit of a pain if, you know, I want to stay pretty low-key, be incognito, especially if I'm around an area where the other survivors are and they don't really want to play ball. I want to... Keep a low profile, you know? So I'm going to have to work out what the hotkey is. But right now, we're headed in this direction because this is the most, I think, northerly point. Or the area, the northerly point that I pointed out going to the map. And I'm not sure if it's a compound or a little town. So we'll see. It should just be over this ridge, in fact. Either this side, what we got there, little building. May as well check it out. I kind of want to fire this pistol too. Let's see what it sounds like. Let's do it. Okay, so it's pretty much the same as with the bottle, but your field of view is way better with this. I don't have to worry about where I'm aiming. When I was trying to hit headshots before with the bottle on the end of it, which it served its purpose, you'll notice that I was kind of lining up the dot 
And then once I line the dot up, it would be a quick fire and then take it away again. With this, I can just use the iron sights because I'm pretty certain that that's what it's going to hit. But we got some glue and a shovel. Yeah, no thanks. Right, we got some houses over there. Oh, it's it's one of those compounds, right? What are we dealing with if we want to make our way in there? This one doesn't have any sentries. Is this just like a smaller one or something? If there's no sentries there, I'm going to look at that now. If there is, probably going to do that next time because going around the back of that is a safer bet. And Oh yeah, I see one. Yep, it's definitely one. And that there, I think, is the entrance to a bunker system. Which, I keep saying it, but it's risk versus reward. Those things are no joke. They will tear you up if you go inside of those fences. So, I mean, it's a gamble that you've got to be willing to take if you want the good loot. Alright, I've decided to be pretty ballsy and see where this thing's patrolling. The bunker system is like there. And I think it's going from the bunker all the way down to this spot. So if I can go around the back or something, then... Oh, there's a second one. I thought this only had one of them patrolling it. That sounds really close as well. I don't know if there's any way that we can destroy these things. Or even disable them. Like, maybe with a car battery or something, make an EMP. I don't know. I'm just, I don't even know if it's possible. I'm just trying to think of a, a way you could possibly do it. Anything that's not going to put you in line of sight of these sentries. Because, I mean, it's, it's literally game over if you walk in front of that. Look at the cans that they've got. On both sides as well. Yeah, they're no joke. My plan was to go from that side too and work my way down so I've got that elevation. That's kind of gone out the window. I wonder why the sentries don't lock onto these. Maybe it's something to do with the, the thing in the back of our head? Because mine's currently active and theirs is, theirs is red and maybe inactive? How creepy they are as well. Kind of want to take his head off, but I don't want to get aggro from these things. So let's just back up. Let's play it safe. We've done a little bit of recon. It was worth it. Let's get out of this spot. Yeah, it's definitely a good thing that we've eyeballed that. We've just got to work out where those patrols are from the sentries. And if we can avoid them, we can get down into that bunker system. I'm sure there's going to be some real good stuff down there. All right. I think this is probably as good a place as any to hold up. Got another pickaxe. It's actually quite exposed in this. Have we got anything else we can work with? Can we get up into the ceiling of that thing there i'm seeing quite a few animals around here as well it'd be kind of fun if we make a couple of arrows with our new bows that we have and then go hunting right we can get up into there right before we do that then let's see what this one looks like because i haven't really looked at it draw this back and then i think this says it has like a 70 pound draw weight i don't know if that's what that means predator 70 pounds it's a recurve bow Stores more energy and delivers energy more efficiently than the equivalent straight limbed bow. Giving a greater amount of energy and speed to the arrow. So I'm fairly certain that we can make something for these because it's quite primitive in terms of this one. So let's put that one away and then look at the compound bow. I did pick up in that town. One of the few things that I did pick up was this. The actual sight for it. I think we've stumbled across one of these before, but look at that. Looks amazing. I just wish we stumbled across the... The actual arrows for it. Maybe in the bunker. So it might be worth holding on to. Alright, let's climb up. Get inside. Still got a lot of daylight left, but I want to get a fire going, get some food, rest up, and then I'm definitely going to attack that bunker. So for now, guys, I think this is where we're going to end it. But like I say, we are going to try and find some real, real good loot down there if we can survive it. And then I'm going to try and get a lead on where the other guys have been surviving so we can see what's going on with them. Again, as always, if you are enjoying Scum, please drop a like below, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you all in the next one.